All right, so some super awesome people suggested that this thing, all you need to do is flip, flip the bag, okay, and this, this, this loop problem, because I just, you see it's straight, 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 loop problem right here. All you got to do is flip the bag, all right, so I'm flipping, flipping it inside, and oh, oh, that's too bad. I seem to have just reflipped it. It's a poorly designed bag. Okay, that's part of the probably part of the reason why the homeless guy dumped it. All right, and I noticed when I was wearing it on my shoulder that the flip prefers to to really exist right on the shoulder. So you're looking at um, this narrow, a narrow, a narrowness that you got to deal with while it's sitting on your shoulder. If you want to put anything heavy in there, it's very uncomfortable. All right, you really need the full two inches. So this, and there's no, there's no unbuckling this thing on either ends. Okay, it's all together. All right, you have to, you have to break the thread. And I think I'd prefer breaking the thread on this end and then just simply straightening it out and sewing it back. What I wanna do is just enter in through this, this end right there with this crochet hook and I'll get in and just twist and turn and I don't think I could do it one-handed get in there and break all the threads so you can see I just I get this this uh, crochet needle in there and then I just want to twist it to break the threads and eventually things give all right now that it's done I just I make sure that it's all straight before I put it on. You know, it's, uh, making a mistake like this strap really turns a, maybe a $30 bag into half that price. If, if somebody can recognize that, at least. And you should. So, I'll sew this end back and it'll be straight. No twists. All right, so I just want to use the speedy stitcher. It's kind of a, a skinnier needle, not a heavy duty needle, but get in there and just use my own thread and yeah, put it together. All done. Okay, so with this, when you twist it, now you twist this ends. Okay, it still stays straight, all right? There's nothing that you twist with it. All right, I was given a couple of quotes here. One was from O'Reilly's. This is O'Reilly's, $325.99. Okay, and that's without this clutch, the clutch, the flywheel. That's without the flywheel, which, which, is, which is that. Okay, now this, this is AutoZone. And you can see there's uh, the 208 99 439.99 and 439.99. The difference between 208 and 439 is the flywheel. Okay, that makes a huge difference. What's really odd though is the O'Reilly's is 325 without the flywheel. And in AutoZone, it's 208 without the flywheel. Such a big difference. The same kind of a kit, but they're different brands. The AutoZone is Duralast, while O'Reilly's has Power Torque. So I don't, I don't believe I want the flywheel. I'll maybe do a little research on that. But the way it sounds is if you if you really wrench on your gears which I never do, then the flywheel should survive. It's the plate that's closest to the driver. It starts out with this, this, and then this inside the bell housing. And I just, I'll just replace these two. And of course, this is the real problem. This throw out bearing or the slave cylinder, that's leaking. So I need that done. And I talked to a guy 
I've been talking to a guy around the Bay, Coos Bay area, but he he started asking me where I'm where I work and stuff like. He was trying to establish that I could pay. I, I think he's got a problem with people paying money. I don't. I, I never been asked where I work by by a, like potential mechanic before. So I just I told him that I'm gonna look elsewhere. I didn't really. There's not really any choice in the Coos Bay area. I'm gonna try to run over to to Eugene and then put the ad in again. And, and see what kind of responses I can get. Try to look for local people around there. It's a pretty good drive. And I, I think I'll probably see how long I can make this this uh, problem last. Just refilling the reservoir every five days or so until I get to Eugene because it's, it's such a long distance and I don't want to make a big, big jump. Uh, I want to kind of take my time it's 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 not a desperate fix. It's desperate to have to keep refilling the brake fluid reservoir, but as long as I, I keep that up, as long as it doesn't accelerate and pace accelerates and and leaking, I could I could maybe go another month or so. Okay, since it is such a big job, it can take a long time to to get in line. Uh, for the job and then I got to think about like maybe getting a tent or something because this this could be a, a multiple day job it's it's a big job and not many people could do it in just a day so I need to like find somewhere to somewhere else to sleep and I don't have any tent I never got a tent because it takes up space and I've never really needed one before, but with a job like this, uh, it's looking like I, I need to like find some somewhere else to sleep outside. Bring my sleeping bags and maybe get a, buy a tent or something. Uh, but I, I just haven't gotten to that point yet. <clears throat> I'm still looking for a, a trustworthy mechanic, and I'm just I'm not I'm not too happy with what I see around Coos Bay area, the Coos. Coos County. I will say though, I, I almost had somebody, I was going to go straight east uh, from Cocoa and and uh, meet a guy. Okay, he said he could do it on the weekend, but then I got this, this, uh, this citation for jaywalking and that sent me up to Coos Bay. I wasn't even intending to come to, come to Coos Bay. But I got that jaywalking ticket and I had to wait on that for the court case. I wanted to settle that. And that was an and I was gonna do the work in Roseburg, around Roseburg, but um I don't know if I wanna go go back there now. I it's possible I could get in hold of the guy and see now, because I'm I'm at a point where I can I can be a little bit more mobile in between cities again with this with this proxy on the responding with them doing the mail judgment by mail uh it's it's a little it's a little frustrating though because you gotta like you gotta like you still have to go to the courthouse and then and then uh contact them until they get the ticket and then you could start the, the judgment by mail but then if the judge wants to be difficult about the situation and say you're guilty then well, it doesn't require me to go back to the courthouse. At that point, I'll just, you know, that's that's when I can just still continue doing things, but do an appeal by mail and all that stuff. So there's there's those options still.